Hey everybody, it's Heckler, and welcome to the Stanley Parable. A neat little game I found a while back and uh, read up on, and it's a, it's a game where the narrator basically tells you what to do, and you can either choose to do it or not do it, and your decisions reflect pretty much what you do. And each story is kind of custom to the decisions you make. Uh, I know I'm going to do two videos, one where I follow them and one where I just do what I want. I'm not sure which order I'm going to release them in, so I'm just going to play the game and find out what I want to do. So let's go ahead and get started right now. New game. Um, this seems like a really cool game. I'm really excited to play it. I hope it's as much fun as I read up on, because this game is supposed to be really, really amazing and, and funny. Oh, here it goes. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor next to his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. I am happy. And then one day something very peculiar <laughs> happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. The Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his forgot. desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on a monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and walked out into the hallway. Ah, all right. This is my this is my crib. Welcome to my crib. We got my uh, interrogation room over there, I guess. And the last cameras, cameras in it. But uh, oh well. Any buttons here? Beep, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, 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 beep. Nope. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do. Stanley decided to go to the staff lounge to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered Ooh. the door on his left. Uh, 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 this one. I'm going to follow him this time. The next time I'll do what I want. Let's see, where are we going? We're 509. We drastically skipped some numbers there. What are we doing? As Stanley entered Get the lounge, he was horrified to find not a single person here. He decided he would walk up to see his boss, hoping that he would find an answer What's this? there. Uncle, or somebody, professional art, professional art, popular scientist, find more watermelon for Lamar, Lamar, doing this for you, alright, what, 251, where you at, nope. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Alright, I'll do it this time. Next time, though, will be so lucky. It's here. Uh, I'm the boss. Entering his manager's office, You're fired. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. It was at this point that he began to feel dizzy and a little sick, wow. and even thought he might pass out uh, when suddenly he noticed a keypad next to the fire oh, in the corner of what? his boss's office. Stanley had never seen this panel before and had no idea what combination of numbers would produce any result. In fact, only Stanley's boss knew this, since the panel withheld access to the boss's greatest code, code. To, uh, And so he had assigned the five, eight, a combination seven, that only he could That's possibly know. The code. number 
of his freshman dorm number in college. One nine five seven. Or it's a different. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly. Couldn't have possibly. No, I'm gonna go my my passcode is right. What? Five, eight, nine, six, one, five, one, one, one. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the keypad was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was one, nine, what? five, one, seven. One, nine, five, seven. Ta-da! that. By simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. It Stanley is. ventured forth pretty good. into the newly opened pro desert gamer. as he drew deeper yeah. into the bowels of the building. I'm Stanley had no idea on. where he was I already got turned or around. what this place held. And just as he began to think he might not discover a thing, oh. he emerged into a long room to find rows and rows of monitors. There's mine. Screens Four, two, were seven, represent. Stanley noticed, however, that these were not random numbers, but the number of employees who worked in the building, his co-workers. Even his own number, 427, had God a lot of telling you to run out to a party. So he asked. It's crazy. Was this simple surveillance or something even more? And as if in answer to his question, uh, a wall what? slid open before him, uh, what is this? revealing the ultimate truth of the situation. Hello? An enormous control panel Stanley discovered, boop, not beep, one that controlled boop, simple boop. machinery. Buttons were labeled with emotions. Happy, I see no sad. emotions on here. Levers and knobs controlled actions. Walking, eating, doing I work, any emotions. or watching TV. Every input on this device monitored not the functions of a machine, Wait, so sidetracked. but of a human being. Human being. And what? the reality began to sink in. I can tell myself. Like so many other you can't tell me what to do. Reduced to images on a monitor, had been under someone's control, always at the mercy of this machine. Could this have been the only reason employee number four no. seven was That's the other way. A boring job? What, what that, that a machine had altered his emotions to what accept it blindly. He began to feel an unbridled you? rage, and at the peak of his anger, something happened. You do a spark. Stanley oh. looked up and saw the generator overhead, oh. still providing some small amount of power to the machine, investigate this. keeping it alive. And knowing that this generator was all oh, that kept the controls climb. running, Stanley moved to the ladder in the back of the room and began to climb towards the rafters. See? So pro, legit, I already knew that was going to happen. Right. The higher Stanley climbed, the closer he felt to freedom, the further from enslavement. All right. Can you go there? Uh, if I want to be free, I'm going to dissipate before I do that, though. Save this game. Okay. And yeah, we're gonna disable this right here. Any time. Oh. Blackness. Power gone. All alone. And then... I don't know, right? Hey! Oh, whoa, whoa. Interesting. As he stepped through the door, into the fresh outside hey, air, Stanley. a feeling of liberation rushed through Stanley's body. Hmm. He had seen power. He had seen enslavement. And he we did had it. destroyed it. We did it. The underling was in control now. He had found his leading role. Stanley never discovered why everyone had gone missing. No. Nor how and when he had come under the machine's control. No, I don't care. But it didn't upset him terribly. 
because he knew that this was how it was losers to happen. I'm free. All he felt it was a delight unlike any he had ever known before. Never again would he follow someone else's orders without question. Never again would anyone tell Stanley where to go, what to do, or how to feel. No more bosses. No more instructions on a screen. Stanley decides for himself now. And he stepped out into the world. And he felt the cool Mama breeze flying. upon Stanley. his skin. Stanley, stop lying. And Stanley, 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 get down. Was happy. Stanley, go home, Stanley. You can't fly. Why are you flying? Is that the end? All right. So we're gonna let this go. I want you to see who made the game. I'm always, I'm always about the credits. I want to make sure everyone gets their dues here. But uh. That was really cool. That was a really interesting game. I, I'm going to load back to see what the other wheel did. But I'm also going to make another video just doing the complete opposite of what he said. I'm going to do my own thing. Show every possibility I can. At least a couple possibilities. So I want y'all to play to see y'all's own uh, storyline that y'all get. And go ahead and send me a video response of your experience with it. I'll watch every single one. I'll, uh, just let me just send one to me and I'll, uh, I'll gladly watch it. Thank you for watching the video again. That means a lot to me. Uh, favorite, like it. If you really liked it, favorite it. Uh, subscribe and always help to see more videos that I've done. But let's go ahead and load this save to see what the other uh, choice was to engage. Because maybe that's something. We'll see. Oh, Stanley. Oh, Stan, what? You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After it kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you mm. wanted? No. Control? Stanley. <laughs> Stanley. <laughs> I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand there's only so much that machine can do. You were meant to let it go, turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you have. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized that he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper what? DNA identification, no, Stanley. nuclear Stanley. detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Oh, let's make it say, um, two minutes. Stan. Now, this is making things a little more fun, Stanley. isn't it, Stanley? Stan. No, no, it's Go not ahead. fun. Play with those controls all you like. The real controls are where I'm sitting. Did you really ever believe you held any power? Did you not think I knew what I was doing? No, 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 when I erased no, no. your crew workers out, yeah. and yeah, turned yeah, off yes. the machine, I was offering you freedom an escape. I didn't have to do that. I've run this story many times and I don't always set you free. Sometimes you just sit there, day after day after day, what? doing your job forever and then dying alone. Right, all the buttons are going to work. But when I actually give you the feeling. freedom to control your own actions, it's not enough. I let you go and you trapped yourself just the same. You just weren't made to handle this sort of responsibility, I'm afraid. But you know what you were made for? Pushing buttons. <laughs> you get it now? Oh, I'm enjoying this. Tell you what, I'll throw some extra time on the clock just because I'm having so oh my God. much We're getting fun. out of here. No, you're a horrible person, narrator. You see, I want to watch you for every long second you try to puzzle this out. After all, it should make sense, right? The timer, the nuclear detonation, the mysterious facility, it's all here. This is a video game. Except for one thing there, hero. You've got no weapon, no vehicle. You don't even know, know where you're going. going. When I you saw going. that timer, you just you instinctively started trying to find an exit, didn't you? In no. fact, I bet you're still looking for a way out. I bet you're clicking on everything in this room, trying to open doors or Vince. vents or something, and this. Solve the puzzle, as though this game has a solution, as though it can be won. 
That see, timer there's... is not a catalyst to keep things moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. No, no, it's not. This is not a challenge. No, it isn't. It's a tragedy. It's the moment when the hero realizes that despite his best efforts, he is powerless no. to his environment. No! And then he lets go. He surrenders. I'm not surrendering. I'm not dying. We're getting it out of here. 30 seconds, Stanley. 30 seconds. No. Until a boom. And then nothing. No. No ending to the story, just you dying. I suppose you could have gotten an actual ending if you played along, but that just wouldn't have been I didn't play story, along. I it? flew away. Instead, you'll perish knowing that the only choice you made here was to turn on that machine and to start this timer. But you won't be alone, because I'm not going anywhere. I'll be here to watch every second of your inevitable life from Stay the time we fade in no. until the moment I say, happily ever up. That was funny. Oh my gosh, I did not suspect that. That is great. Uh, there has to be a way out though, doesn't there? If y'all find out, let me know. Because I'm very curious if I can get past that. That would be awesome. Um, So I'm going to go ahead and end this video and then go ahead and start the other one so y'all can get them. Because it's been going on for quite a while. I don't know why I checked my watch. I'm not wearing one right now. I'm checking the time on the computer. This video has been going on quite a while, almost out of time. So, uh, thank you again for watching. Subscribe to more videos to see videos that I've done. And, uh, favorite and favoriting and liking my videos always helps me out. It gives me an ego boost, you know, that's always good. Uh, but thank you for watching my video overall, and stay tuned, because I'll be releasing more videos soon. Thank you. Bye.